Oh, wow. And I'm the mother of the family. So this is my daughter. Yes. <laughs> um, and I play Sarah. And I play Parveen. And like um, Hayley just said, I play her daughter. Yeah. I have three children in the, sh- in the film. Yeah. And um, I think... For me, it was because I, it was so multicultural, so diverse. When I was offered the part, um, I was worried because I, I thought it was just an, um, a British Indian film, and I'm Persian, and and I thought I, it won't work. And the director said, "No, no, no! I want you to be Persian, and I want people from different backgrounds." And so that's just like real life. That's my family is from everywhere. You know, it's such a multicultural film, and that's what's so good about it. And for me, um, when I got the breakdown for the audition, it was primarily about the character um, because I got a fantastic opportunity to play a very crazy, bonkers, the person who creates a lot of chaos in the film. Um, so it was all about actually getting and the, the comedy from that character and you know, building up towards that. That's kind of what I was interested in. Brilliant. Yeah. We gelled very quickly as a group. Um, from day one, there was a lot of laughter and we sometimes had to just stop the camera rolling because we were laughing so hard, um, which which just proved how well we all got on with each other. And everybody's such a talent, everybody's so funny. It was sometimes we just cry and laughing, we just had to stop and sort ourselves out and carry on filming. Well, so, some, yeah. well sometimes they kept it rolling for some scenes, didn't yeah, they? Because it actually really worked. A lot of ad-lib in the, in the mm. film, a lot of improvisation where the camera would just roll and we'd just keep talking yep. and, and some of it would work and the director would keep it in the movie so that's great definitely um, she's bossy and she's she's quite dry and straight talking and she bosses her husband around <laughs> and I like that <laughs> I liked obviously playing the elective mute the fact that her family thinks that she's very sweet and innocent and actually she's far from it and I loved driving the 1982 Rolls Royce on um, the beach into the sea um, that she's very similar to me <laughs> didn't really have to do much it was just kind of putting me into it but actually reading it I almost heard my mum my own mum so I thought okay that's what I'll go for I'll make her a bit like my mum who is just a wonderful mother and so supportive of her family and nothing will get in the way of anything to do with her family, which I love about my mum, so yeah. And it was a great opportunity for me to, to let loose and like like Hayley said earlier, there wasn't much, we had a lot of opportunity to really go for it and we had free reign and to have that when you never ever have that on the set was something that I particularly enjoyed a lot. Oh gosh, well, things like um, the certain shots, you've seen the film, that we only had a chance to do in one take. And if we didn't get it, we lost it completely. So the, the cinematography, the driving down the beach, the sunset, yes. the fireworks, everything had to be done in one take. And he, I don't know how he managed to cast a group of people who are able to do things in one take, but we did. We, you know, that, that car driving down the beach with the sun setting, yeah. And the firework display, he, he was just like, go, 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 get it, get it, get it. And we got it, you know, and it's just, uh, that's a miracle. That very rarely happens. And also with the, the car crashing into the shed and then the balloons yeah, going up, just that was one take. And also another one take was me spewing um, the sick at the end because we didn't want to actually be sick on a person ten times. 